Louis Gomer did one of these silly videos for World Net Daily with uh, the cheesy music in the background and the emotional talking. Michelle Bachman did one recently, and we made fun of it. Uh, we'll also make fun of this one. And uh, as you're listening here, notice that he flubs multiple facts. Uh, President Thomas Jefferson, we're talking about the guy who coined the phrase separation of church and state, who said there should be a wall of separation between church and state. But it was to be a one-way wall where the state would not dictate to the church, but the church would certainly play a role in the state. And so President Thomas Jefferson had a little different idea of what separation of church and state meant when he used it in his letter to the Danbury Baptist because President Thomas Jefferson came to church, a Christian worship service right here in Statuary Hall, as we call it now. Uh, so that's a little different idea than a lot of people have about separation of church and state now, in, including some of our esteemed Supreme Court who are not quite as familiar with our history as they probably should be. God has blessed this nation greater than any nation in the history of the world, I would submit, even than, than Solomon's Israel. Again, he referenced the one guy, the one founding father that might have been the most anti-religious. Like, how do you fuck up that bad? There's a lot of founding fathers, man. Some of them were religious, but a lot of them were deists, and he happens to pick one that was a deist. And he goes, oh, yeah, I like when he mocks the Supreme Court, like, huh, these guys probably should know their history better than they do. <laughs> Really? I think you should know your fucking history. Here you are saying, oh, Thomas Jefferson, big time religion guy. I mean, he hung out in church and he, he loved religion. Okay, quote, Christianity is the most perverted system that ever shone on man. Thomas Jefferson. I just read through the, the, these quotes two times already within the past two weeks. Quote, the hocus pocus phantasm of a god like another cerebrus with one body and three heads had its birth and growth in the blood of thousands and thousands of martyrs. Thomas Jefferson. Is it too? It is too late in the day for men of sincerity to pretend they believe in the platonic mysticisms that three are one and one is three, and yet the one is not three and three are not one. Thomas Jefferson, going after the Trinity, the heart of Christianity. Quote, and the day will come when the mystical generation of Jesus, by the supreme being as his father in the womb of a virgin, will be classed with the fable of the generation of Minerva in the brain of Jupiter. But we may hope that the dawn of reason and freedom of thought in these United States will do away with all this artificial scaffolding and restore to us the, the primitive and genuine doctrines of this, the most venerated reformer of human errors. Thomas Jefferson, calling religion and Christianity specifically artificial scaffolding and arguing against it. Quote, there is not one redeeming feature in our superstition of Christianity. It has made one half of the world fools and the other half hypocrites. Thomas Jefferson. You sure about that whole Jefferson love Christianity thing, big guy? No, you're not, because you need to fucking study your history. Not the Supreme Court. They're wrong on a lot of shit, but on this one, they, they're, they're right. They're spot on. And I like when he just flat out said, well, separation of church and state means the opposite. Separation of church and state means, yeah, the state shouldn't get involved in the church, but the church should totally get involved with the state. You just fucking made that up. You just made that shit up. You totally made it up. The establishment clause in the Constitution is crystal clear. The government shall not establish a religion, so it can't favor one religion over another religion or religion over non-religion. So in other words, your idea of having Christianity as the church that imposes on the state is unconstitutional because the Establishment Clause says you shall not establish a particular religion. So if you try to push your Christianity on the government, well then you have to allow the Buddhists to push their uh, religion, the Wiccans to push their religion, the Mormons to push their religion, the Scientologists to do that, the, the Muslims to do that. So you're... He's totally wrong on every point he makes, but why would I expect him to be right? I mean, he's fucking Louis Gohmert. 